Hello guys, it is for Never World here, the king of My Hero Academia content, and today we're gonna talk about my really cool and awesome, flawless theory, Fire Fist Deku. Jokes aside though, it is Perm here, and while technically I should be named Chaotic Plus by now, however, what I wanna talk about today is, um, as you can probably tell by the intro, for Neverworld, but I'm not really gonna bash on him as a person or a YouTuber, I am absolutely not going to attack him. What I am gonna do, however, is attack his theory. I'm going, well, technically I'm not gonna attack it, I'm just gonna debunk it. I'm going to tell you why this theory that he came up with just cannot happen. It is just impossible. Well, if we do not include ass poles, that is. I mean, if we do include ass poles, anything could happen, literally, but we're gonna assume that ass poles will not occur because so far in the story of My Hero Academia, as polls to that degree have never occurred, so there's no reason for us to, you know, expect them to in the future either. So what he said in this theory or discussion, I'm not really sure what he branded it as, let's call it a discussion to be safe. But what he really wanted to tell us with this video was, um, well, he wanted to discuss the idea of Deku getting a quirk, essentially a quirk that he was born with, not the quirk that he was given by All Might. So he was bringing forth the idea that many others have before him that Deku may be getting a fire quirk or his mother's quirk or both of them at some point as in it's just gonna magically sprout you know when he's older i think he gave one of the examples he gave was the movie sky high which is essentially high school musical of superheroes except without the music which means it's not really good get my point right so that in itself was just kind of weak in my opinion it was a really weak comparison now the reason why deku is never going to be unlocking a fire quirk or some kind of telekinesis quirk that his mother has is because, quite frankly, it was either that his pinky toe had an extra joint or didn't have an extra joint that means that you can't really get a quirk. Or at least it means there's an extremely high possibility you're not going to be getting a quirk. And if you do get a quirk, that quirk will sprout when you're young. Deku didn't sprout this quirk when he was young. It took him until he was 15 years old when he met All Might to get his quirk, and that was through All Might himself. He actually passed his quirk onto Deku, meaning that Deku never got his own quirk, really. He was just lucky enough to run into All Might, and All Might saw the potential in him, and that kind of gave Deku the opportunity to become a not-so-quirkless hero anymore. I mean, he wanted to become the greatest hero, we know that. He's kind of like your typical protagonist in that sense. He wants to be the best. Nothing strange, you know. We have Luffy, we have Naruto, we have, you know, pretty much everyone wants to be the best in some way. So Deku is no exception to that, nothing wrong with that either. However, if he were to suddenly sprout a fire quirk, that would kind of fuck up his character entirely. It would ruin the entirety of Deku's character. And the reason is because he's built up as an underdog main character. He's started from ground zero pretty much. Even after he got one for all, he had to train intensely for months before he could even take the quirk. And um, even after these months of training, when he first used the quirk, he could not even control it at all. Like the first thing he did, broke his leg and arm. So I'm just wondering what is going through for Neverworld's head when he's kind of wishing for Deku to be getting a fire quirk just because it's gonna be giving him some super cool fighting moves, you know, yeah, sure, he'll get some fire punches, he'll be Natsu Dragnil 2.0, fuck yeah, right? I mean, that's basically for Neverworld's mentality with this discussion or theory. He just wants Deku to have a more diverse set of moves, I guess. And I guess it's fine that he wants Deku to have a more diverse way of fighting. However, I don't think another quirk is the way to go about it. He can still use one for all and be a, an extremely diverse hero. Now, right now, he doesn't have too many attacks in his moveset because, well, he's just starting out as a hero. You know, he's not Naruto. He's not Luffy. He doesn't start out having like five to six different moves. He actually copies all all Might in the beginning of the story as we know he uses the moves that he's seen All Might use but he kind of makes his own twist with them and when he actually then transitions to using his shoot style that is kicks he completely changes the way he fights instead of punching like All Might he takes a more kicking approach by actually developing moves that works better for kicks rather than punches because his arms well there's some joint in his arm that's completely fucked to the point if he breaks it once more it's gonna completely ruin his arm and he won't be able to use it again 
again. At least he doesn't want to overuse his arm to the point where it breaks from the backlash of one for all. Now one thing that I noticed in the comment section of his video and I'm gonna address this immediately. People were saying that the original one for all user didn't have a quirk. Now this is the best part because the original one for all user did have a quirk and his quirk was always in effect. Now the thing people get confused about when it comes to the original one for all users original quirk is that it was simply the power to pass on. It couldn't really do anything on its own. So when he was given this power stockpiling quirk by all for one eventually his older brother that kind of made these two quirks his original quirk and this stockpiling quirk to merge into what we today know as one for all. So for people that are confused the quirk he had was always in effect. There was just no way of seeing that it was there. In Deku's case it's completely different because going by the logic of the video that he will inherit one of his parents quirks that would have been extremely evident if he did develop these quirks. Either he would have at least at some point have sparked fire or he would have been able to pull something towards him. Nothing of the sort has been happening throughout Deku's life and if it hasn't already it's just not going to in the future either. That's just how simple it is. He's going to be using one for all for the rest of his life and that's that.